Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for the project that's about to begin because we are finally going to tackle the garden. I still can hardly believe that I have a garden now and I am just... I have so many plans. If I'm honest, guys, over the past couple of weeks, months maybe, I have developed a little bit of an obsession with gardening. I have been watching gardening shows on TV, gardening YouTube videos. I am just so excited and ready to get this garden to a place where it feels like our garden and it is luscious and green and just beautiful and we can enjoy it all summer long and I just... oh, <laughs> It's finally happening. I was ready to get this started weeks ago but it has just been raining and snowing somehow non-stop for weeks. But today is a sunny day, one rare sunny day. I think it's gonna start raining again tomorrow. Um, but I want to make use of this day and get this started. Don't worry, this is not just a one day vlog. I'm gonna put several days into this vlog before I upload. Interrupting your regularly scheduled content for a bit here to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor because this video is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare. I have talked about Skillshare loads on my channel. I absolutely love their platform, but if you're unfamiliar with them, Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of different classes on all kinds of topics. They have lots and lots and lots of creative classes, but they also cover the topics of self-development, business, productivity, confidence building, and all kinds of interesting combinations of those. Classes such as Confidence for Creatives, Five Exercises to Grow Your Confidence and Self-Care by Eugenia Washington. I think many people who work in a creative field can relate to this feeling of just never being good enough and constantly doubting yourself and these classes really help tackle that. They actually have career focused classes that can help you build a small business, um, pick up the confidence to build a small business, get all of the kind of foundations that you need in order to develop your idea. I've been following a bunch of their classes regarding uh, starting an online business, like a small online business that has been super super helpful in kind of determining what direction I might want to go in because I'm considering starting maybe a small business at some point this year and these Skillshare classes have been so useful in that it's some of those I actually feel like maybe the people who give the courses shouldn't be giving me all of this information just like that because it's such valuable stuff these teachers can really guide you every step of the way which is fantastic if learning something new whether that's career oriented or more creative or whatever else sounds good to you then you're in luck because the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description box will get a free one month trial of a Skillshare membership so that you can achieve your career goals this year. Definitely be sure to check it out. It's absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to gardening. I guess first let me just walk you through what the garden currently looks like. So it is a mid-sized city garden I would say. A fairly standard size Dutch city garden. We have neighbors on both sides of the house, so we have fences along both sides. Both of those are green. On one side there is a wooden fence originally, but the neighbor's greenery is growing through it. And we're letting that happen because we prefer the greenery. And then on the other side we have ivy. We love it, it's beautiful, I love that it's green. And then the back end of the garden we have a fence. And this fence is bright white. It is shining bright white and it's a little bit much. <laughs> We're just gonna start out by painting it. That's gonna be one of the biggest jobs we do this year, is to paint the fence. I've already bought the paint that we're gonna use for the metal bits and uh, we're still looking for a good paint for the wood. We would really like to paint this brown and it's gonna happen sometime in the upcoming weeks but we need to have at least two consecutive days where it's not raining and that hasn't happened yet. But I want to give this a chance to try nicely, you know? So we're gonna have to sand the fence and paint that. That's one job. The second job that we want to do has to do with the tiles. We have these very 1960s tiles. Lots of homes from 1960s have these tiles in the garden. Also means they feel very old-fashioned to us. We don't necessarily like them very much and there is way too many of them. We're gonna take out a bunch of the tile. Removing tile from garden is something that is highly encouraged in the Netherlands at the moment, has been for the past couple of years, so the municipality will pick them up for us for free. I think today would be a nice day to just flip some tiles, remove them. And another thing we're considering doing with those floor tiles, maybe flipping them upside down because the under layer, like the, the bottom of them, should be made of concrete. 
and it's still not the look we want. Eventually, I would like to completely replace that and put in something nicer, more cottagey, more old-timey, kind of um, more of the vibe that we're going for. But for now, just to have something different, we want to try and maybe flip a couple of them, see if it looks any nicer <laughs> than it does now, um, and see if we want to flip all the tiles to get a fresher look. I did already paint the shed that was white as well. I painted that brown. Love how that looks, so much warmer and nicer. The shed has garage doors at the moment, or like one garage door, and we don't like that. It's not practical for us, and it doesn't look very nice, so eventually we would like to get that replaced as well for just a nice wooden door that just opens like a normal door. After all of this like base work is done, then we can get started with the really exciting stuff, which is planting all the plants. There are very few evergreen plants in our garden, so in winter it just turns into just mud with dead plants sticking out of it. Not a very nice look, definitely not interesting to look at. I want to turn this into a garden that is beautiful year-round. So we want to plant some evergreen plants, we want to plant some beautiful perennials that will pop up every year and flower for us beautifully. We want to plant some edible plants and we want to create some height, because I feel like this garden is very much missing some height differences. A personal dream of mine has always been to have trees in my garden. I love trees. I think trees are very special, very important, and I would love to plant some. Keeping in mind that this is a smaller city garden and we want it to remain safe and manageable for us, so we're gonna plant some smaller trees. Some trees that will remain small for their entire lifespan. I was thinking some fruit trees and some flowering trees and maybe an evergreen. And I'd also love to plant some shrubs and bushes and herbs. Herbs, oh gosh guys. I have this idea of putting down big planters full of herbs because especially mint tends to spread a lot so I want to contain the mint in like this big pot and just have all of these fragrant beautiful herbs in the garden. And then another thing concerning the plants we want to plant jasmine along the fence in the back so that that is eventually covered in greenery and jasmine and beautiful flowers and lovely stuff. Um, we would also like to plant some type of flowering climbing plant up against the shed so that that is covered as well. And then there is one more climbing plant that we're looking for because we want to put a little trellis to hide our trash bins because <laughs> currently we have uh, three bins that are for recycling. We've moved them around a lot and we think that the best place for them is actually quite close to the terrace so that when you want to throw something away from the house you don't have to walk through the entire garden. So we want to keep them pretty close to the house but we don't want them to be visible from the terrace when you're eating. <laughs> so we want to buy a little trellis and have some type of plant growing there that will hide the bins from view. On this patio terrace is where we're gonna have our dining set. The previous owners left their dining set for us when they moved, which is so lovely and we made great use of that last year, but we are replacing that with something else. And the new dining set has already arrived and I am just, oh, it's so good. I absolutely love it. So we got a round table that's gonna go in here, really free up a lot of space and be able to seat a lot of people. We also have this amazing amazing egg chair. <laughs> I was gifted this uh, for my birthday and I absolutely love it. It's this like swinging egg shaped chair that you can just sit in and read in and it's just incredible and that's gonna go in our sitting area which is gonna go in the back of the garden. So when we're removing the tile, some of the tile we're gonna actually put back um, in the place where we would like to create our second terrace or like our seating area. I don't know if you remember in Amsterdam in our apartment we have this bench on the balcony so we still have that bench and we would like to buy a second one of those so that we can kind of place them in like an L shape and then the egg on the other side to close off the seating area. We're also going to buy a little table to you to use as a like console or like side table. I've been talking enough here. This is such a long intro. I'm sorry, but I think it's good to kind of talk you through the plans that we have so that you know what's happening in the upcoming couple of videos that I can hopefully dedicate to this. It's time to get started. Something very important is we need to plant our first tree. It needs to happen as soon as possible. My brother got me a little baby 
pear tree for my birthday and I am so happy. I cannot wait for it to start growing fruit. It's probably gonna take a while because it's very, very tiny, but we're gonna plant that. I want to cut away all of the dead plants because spring is coming. Maybe empty some of the planters out. And basically we're gonna start getting the garden ready for all the plants that are gonna come in uh, a bit later. Let's get started. So I called it, unfortunately. That one day of work we got outside was the only day in weeks and weeks and weeks that it didn't rain. I don't know what's going on. But I realized there is something I can do no matter the weather and it is actually the perfect time of year to do this. And that is pre-sowing my seeds. I have had a bunch of seeds that you can see before me here for years. The supermarket we shop at sometimes gives out these free seed kits, I guess. They are meant for children as like educational, um, this is how food grows material, but they give them to everyone and I have a bunch. And I was never able to use them because we didn't have a garden, but now we do. And it would be so exciting to grow some vegetables and flowers as well. I have no idea if this is gonna work because they are pretty old. They've been sitting out in the sun for a while in our apartment and they might not sprout at all. But that's okay, we're gonna try. And actually this is even good because I'll have some time to think about what we want to do with all of our edible plants. Problem is these have gotten slightly jumbled up during the move. I have this little greenhouse that they were in. They got shaken up so sorry for that noise. <laughs> They got shaken up, so I'm, not all of them are with their original packaging and labels anymore. So some of these are going to be surprise plants. One thing I have here is um, this, actually. This is not from the supermarket. I must have gotten this as a present. This is a likeness flower. Burning Love is its name. So it comes with a little... 
Oh, this is probably the soil you're supposed to plant it in. I have a bowl of water. I'm just gonna drop this thing in. The instructions are very um, minimal. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa, 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 okay. Is this, is this what I'm supposed to do? Am I doing this right? Let's just pop these seeds on top. I learned from my Skillshare course that if the seeds are large, you have to put them into the soil a little. And if they are tiny, you can just lay them on top. Oh, I think these are tiny. Yeah, that's tiny seeds. Let's just pop them on top. I think we're gonna have a lot of plants here. Just gonna spritz that with some water. Ooh, oh, that's nice. This is a white flower mix and white flowers are my fave along with purple. Okay, so we have another one of those soil thingy majigs. So I'm just gonna let that soak for a bit. Then this goes on top, that goes on top. Let's spray that, just to be sure. More soil, just lightly. This comes with a handy dandy little label. Bloop. White flowers. I love this, I hope they do this again this year. So much fun. Oh, three types of sunflowers. Just yellow sunflowers, yellow and red sunflowers, and also red and orange sunflowers. This is so much fun. I am having so much fun and I'm so glad I get to garden, despite the fact that it is horrendous weather outside. I have one more of the flower mixes. Pink flower mix. The different kinds of seeds I have are pumpkin, which is scary because pumpkin plants are gigantic. So I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna do that one. I have radish, buckwheat, beetroot and chamomile. I have some cherry tomatoes, definitely gonna do those. That's more reddish. Um, carrots, dill, and I'm fairly sure this is cabbage. I have lettuce and poppies. Yeah, that's it. So not a huge variety. I'm just gonna plant everything, maybe except for the pumpkins. We'll see what takes and what doesn't. while it's still raining, I wanna make a little visual plan of the kind of end result of our garden. So I took a photo on my tablet here and we're just gonna draw in a very basic way, um, kind of what I want the end result to look like. So that you and me as well can maybe get a little bit of a better visual of what's gonna be going on there. So I think the first thing we need to do, the fence, that's gonna be a different color. So we're gonna make that brown and we're gonna have black accents there. Then the bench, of course. And we're gonna have a second one right here. And then this egg is gonna go over here. Oh, I shouldn't have drawn the egg already because there is still some more background stuff. So we're gonna have trees down the back here. It grows on a trellis. So it's nice and high and that is gonna obscure a lot of the view from the neighbor's garden. Then we're gonna have the jasmine on the fence as well. This is the sunny bit of our garden, so that should be fine. Um, speaking of plants, we're gonna have something growing along this wall too. Then of course we have our pear tree right here. And we would also like to remove some of these tiles here. Here we would like to put down a lilac. Right here we're gonna have the trellis to hide the bins and something's gonna grow there. Hanging plants. We're gonna probably hang some here to just completely cover up that little bit. In the garden here, we're just gonna have loads of plants. I don't wanna be able to see any of this soil anymore. We're also gonna take away two more tiles just there. So that's gonna be a bit further out. The same here. So we're gonna remove some tile from here. And then here, I'd maybe like to have my, that's an acorn. <laughs> nope. My pots of herbs. We're gonna move up this planter 
but we are gonna put it back just a little bit higher because it's now kind of yeah it's much too low and uncomfortable when you're sitting there but we do want to keep this and we're gonna have something nice growing in there and then the finishing touch of course we're gonna put back the string lights that we used to have on our balcony but always looked kind of weird there so I think popping them up here is just gonna work a lot better yeah accessories we'll get to that later <laughs> but this is pretty much the idea I'm not sure if this makes it very much clearer or it's a pretty chaotic drawing sorry about that but I it makes me happy looking at this so that's great. Alrighty guys, that is all that I have for you today. I really wish I could have done more in the garden, but I've got to wait <laughs> for the rain to clear. I will do another update a few weeks down the line. I will keep filming throughout that period as we do stuff around the garden and show you the progress. I'm really, really excited to see where this is going um, in the summer. It's gonna be absolutely incredible, I am sure. So thank you so much for joining me here. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated on this and all the other things I'm doing. Don't forget to check out Skillshare through the link in my description box below. It gets you a one month free membership, definitely worth it. There is another video here that you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you very soon in my next video.